Hi, this is RLC Boss. Today we will continue to talk about the Shanghai campaign. After the fall of Luo Dian, Wu Song, and Bao Shan, it would be IJA's turn to launch the offensive. General Zhu Shaoliang became the new commander of the 9th Army Group. He would command the 71th Corps, 72th Corps, and 78th Corps to fight in the city of Shanghai. Chen Chen's 15th Army Group was responsible for all the combat at the left flank. As for the right flank, General Zhang Fakui led his 8th Army Group to defend Pudong. The IJA wanted to win a battle quickly, so the votes of those IJA offensives were against the 9th and 15th Army Group. Wen Zaobang became the next main battlefield between the NRA and IJA. The IJA's Taiwan Independent Combined Brigade from the island of Formosa landed at Shanghai on September 14th to launch offensive jointly with the 11th Division westwards against the 15th Army Group. Fortunately, the 1st Corps under General Wu Zhongnan arrived at Shanghai on time and participated in the defense of Wen Zaobang. The 1st Corps defended Wen Zaobang for a week without losing an inch of territory to the IJA. By September 21, the 1st Corps lost 80% of his junior officers and two third of his men. Generalissimo then appointed himself the commander of the Third War Area, and broke Japan originally estimated that it could force China into submission in just three months. General Xu Yue's 19th Army Group consisted of the 4th Corps, 66th Corps, and 69th Corps moved into Shanghai as well on the same day. Most units under Xu Yue were local forces from Guangdong and Hunan province. They joined force with the 15th Army Group to hold the river. On September 22, the Huanong Run Division joined the offensive against the Wen Zaobang together with 11th Division and Taiwan Independent Combined Brigade. Such an aggressive inflicted heavy losses to the NRA 15th Army Group. An entire Central Army Division would be wiped out in just a day. The NRA veterans fought in those battles gave Shanghai a nickname, the Grinding Meal of Flesh Blood. At the same day, the IJA 3rd and 11th Division lost 10,988 men. More IJA divisions were on their way to Wen Zaobang. On September 27th, the IJA 9th Division joined the battle. The IJA 13th Division appeared on October 1st. Still, the 4th Corps, 66th Corps, and 18th Corps together held the defending line for three days. When they were nearly wiped out, the 76th Corps, 78th Corps were sent to replace them. The IJA took over Wen Zaobang on October 10th and continued their advance to the town of Dachang. The Dachang and Nanxiang will be the next target for the Japanese to cut off the 9th Army Group and annihilate all the Central Army units in the city. General Chen Chen ordered the 70th Corps from Hunan Province and 21th Corps from Sichuan Province under Li Jue's NRA 10th Army Group to engage the IJA advance toward Dachang. In addition to the 10th Army Group, Liao Lei's 21th Army Group had also arrived from Guangxi Province on September 12th. The 21th Army Group to launch a counterattack against the south of Wen Zaobang with the 66th Corps as well as 79th Corps. Unfortunately, the entire 21th Army Group lost the battle. Carrier-based bombers launched an air attack against the NRA 21th Army Group under the escort of A5M fighters. The 21th Army Group lost too many troops and had to leave the front line for replenishment. The full-scale offensive was launched by the IJA 9th, 11th, and 13th Divisions against Dachang. Despite the 70th, 78th, 21th, and 26th Corps were called in to defend Dachang together with 18th Corps, 73rd Corps, and 10th Corps, the NRA would not fight any longer. General Chen Chen had no choice but to order a full withdrawal of the NRA forces from Shanghai. The 1st Battalion of the 524th Regiment of the 88th Division was ordered to defend the Sihang Warehouse near Suzhou Creek to cover the retreat of the main force from the city. Chiang Kai-shek hoped the NRA could hold Shanghai for two additional weeks to influence the Nine Power Treaty Conference taking place at Brussels. By October 26, most NRA units had begun their retreat from Shanghai to prevent total annihilation. However, a battalion of 524th Regiment, 262 Brigade, 80th Division, under Commander Xie Jinyuan, remained in Sihang Warehouse to defend the Japanese. Xie and his 424 men engaged the IJA 3rd Division for six days in Sihang Warehouse. 
A Girl Scout named Yang Huimin brought an ROC flag into the warehouse on October 28th. Commander Xie ordered a flag raising ceremony on the rooftop of the Sihang warehouse next day. The event not only boosted the morale of the Chinese soldiers and civilians, but also touched the Westerners in the foreign settlements. Commander Xie claimed that he had 800 men with him. The NRA soldiers guarding the Sihang warehouse were given the name 800 Heroes. By November 1st, the NRA main forces had nearly completed their retreat from Shanghai. With the arrangement of British officer Xie with his troops successfully withdrew to the international settlement. During the last battle between the NRA 88th Division and IJA 3rd Division in Shanghai, Commander Xie lost 37 men. However, the 800 heroes killed 200 Japanese soldiers during the fierce battle. This was the only time when the IJA lost more men than the NRA during the Shanghai campaign. Japan had already lost enough face to fight a two-month battle with the NRA in Shanghai. The IJA decided to send another three divisions to Shanghai to make sure at least the city could be taken in three months. The IJA 618th and 114th divisions were deployed to Shanghai from the North China to cut off the NRA retreat route. The three divisions landed at Hangzhou Bay between Shanghai and Hangzhou as those three additional divisions moved northward toward Shanghai. Zhang Fakui's 8th Army Group in Pudong immediately sent 28th Corps and 45th Brigade to resist the Japanese offensive. In the same time, 79th Division of the 22 Corps and 67th Corps were deployed to defend Fengjing and Songjiang. Those local forces were unable to stop IJA movement. The 67th Corps of the Northeast Army were wiped out in the Battle of Songjiang. On November 9th, the IJA 3rd Division captured Hongqiao Airport. The IJA 9th Division pursued the retreating Chinese forces. Wu Jiguang, the commander of 114 Brigade of the 74th Corps, was killed in Baihe Town during his engagement with the IJA 6th Division. Chiang Kai-shek finally ordered a full retreat of the NRA forces from Shanghai as the IJA moved into Qingpu. All fighting ended in Shanghai on November 12th. This marks the end of Shanghai campaign. But the IJA did not stop the movement. It continued the movement toward Nanjing, the capital city of Republic of China. Generalissimo had no choice but to declare that he would move the national capital to Chongqing to continue the fight. The price Chiang Kai-shek paid during the Shanghai campaign was extremely high. A central army division will be annihilated in one day. Nanjing will be captured by the IJA within just a month after the retreat of NRA from Shanghai, and a massacre will be launched in Nanjing. Chiang Kai-shek did not get what he wanted from the Night Power Conference, taking place in Brussels between November 3rd and November 24th. The United States and Great Britain still remain neutral. However, President Roosevelt began his condemnation of Japan for the killing of innocent civilians. Still, the Republic of China was in a full-scale war with the Empire of Japan. Chiang Kai-shek finally won hearts and minds from the local strongmen by deploying his best units to Shanghai and sacrificing them all. The loyalty of those local strongmen will be crucial for Chiang Kai-shek and his central government to survive the relentless attack from the Japan in the next eight years. Hey, do you like our content? If you like them, please remember to subscribe to our channel. And if you want to support us, feel free to donate from the link below.